Sunset Field, Brush, Colorado, Brush Bee Diggers, Highland Huskies tangle in a Patriot League contest. Brush with a 6-4 and four record on a four-game winning streak, and Highland Huskies on four and seven record, and they have are on a one-game losing streak coming into the ball game. Both teams, one, two, three in the first inning, and we come to the top of the second inning, and Sean Dutton comes to the plate for the Highland Huskies. Highland, their colors normally are green and gold, and <laughs> this is really strange. I mean, uh, they've got black uniforms with white lettering and, and white trim, and it's, it's a sharp look. It really looks nice. Sean Dutton steps in, hitting 261 on the season. The ball hit down to first base. Foul ball. Well, a home plate umpire called it fair, and Edgar Ortiz grabs the ball just right on the bag and then steps on, on the bag for an unassisted out. Sawyer Morgan comes to the plate. Big strapping guy wears number 17 on his back. He is hitting 478 on the season. Leads the team with 11 hits, 12 RBIs. First pitch is low and outside, a ball. Keaton Jillick on the hill for the Brush Bee Diggers, working quickly. P pitch is outside, two balls, no strikes. Jillick, the sign, the offering, and that ball fouled off at the plate. Two balls and a strike. One out in the inning. Brushes line up. Keaton Jillick on the hill for the beat diggers. Wiley Eicher behind the plate. Pitch will be coming shortly. Well, then we'll go around the infield. Pitch, strike, letter high, center cut. Two balls, two strikes to Sawyer Morgan. Jillick gets a sign, the 2-2, upstairs, ball three, full count. Landon Mesh at third, Tanner Ledgate at short, Percy Odell at second, Edgar Ortiz at first. Left to right, Ben Metlin in left, Hunter Proctor in center, Caleb Jimenez in right field. The full count, and that pitch upstairs, saw your Morgan walks, bringing up John Bingley. John Bingley comes to the plate, hitting sixth for the Huskies, hitting 167. Bingley's gotten on base quite often. He leads a team in base on balls and uh, also has 10 stolen bases. So Morgan leads off at first, four-step lead, and the pitch from Jillick inside a ball Morgan with a very large lead at first. We'll see if he'd be taking off. Jillick acknowledges him, takes another half step, and fake going to second, and the pitch is outside ball two. Keith Juarez is head coach for the Huskies. He's been a longtime coach at Alt a number of years run that program the pitch and that pitch is upstairs ball three and on the pitch Morgan takes off for second for a stolen base so three and oh to the hitter Bingley and Morgan steals second base one out top of the second inning three and oh count to the hitter John Bingley Keaton Jillick will be working from the stretch the wind Straight in from center field, the pitch, and that pitch is upstairs, ball four. So runners at first and second with one out. Eli Phillips comes to the plate. Phillips hitting 222. Phillips wears number nine on his back. Runners at first and second for the Huskies. One out. Top of the second, the pitch from Jillick. Took a little bit off, strike at the knees, outside corner. Keaton's fastball tails right at the last 
little bit, gives a little bit extra movement. The 0-1 pitch from Jillick, and that pitch right down Broadway, strike two. The last two hitters, Morgan and Bingley, working walks. The 0-2 pitch, and that Sawyer, uh, Morgan steals third base. Pitch was outside for a ball. On the pitch, Morgan was moving, and uh, Jillick was in the middle of his delivery to the plate, couldn't do anything about it, and Wiley Eicher didn't really have a chance to be able to throw him out. First and third, one and two, and that ball hit out towards Jimenez in right field, and that ball, he takes a dive, and the ball skips past him. So Morgan comes in and scores. Highland's first run, and or Juarez is calling for Bingley to come around from first, and score, and Highland takes a two to nothing lead on the little single to right field. First pitch and second pitch to Wyatt Meyer. Balls with Eli Phillips on second. Highland with a two to nothing lead in the second inning. That pitch from Keaton Jillick outside, ball three. 3-0 to Wyatt Meyer. Strike. Pitch was at the knees, outside corner. Wyatt Myers doesn't have a batting average. He's been to the plate a few times. He's a junior, but uh, over the season at this point, and that pitch, a strike. He brings the count full. Three balls, two strikes. To Wyatt Meyer, the junior. A pitch from Jillick, and that pitch swung at, struck out, missed for the out. Two outs in the inning. Highland with the two runs on that one hit by Eli Phillips. Scores two. Pitch from Jillick upstairs to Hunter Lopez. Lopez, the nine hitter in the lineup. And he's hitting 120 on the season. He's a candidate for a strikeout. He's struck out 17 times. That pitch fouled off and to the right. Count even at one. Highland with two runs here in the top of the second inning. Grass is greening up. Everything's looking good today. Keaton Jillick steps off the back of the rubber and forces Eli Phillips back to the bag. 1-1 one, one count to Hunter Lopez, choked up on the bat, and that pitch outside. Ball two. Brush playing standard depth in the infield. Outfield's playing in just because the way the wind's blowing, that pitch inside to Hunter Lopez. Lopez wears zero on his back. Not that many players wear a zero. Boy, it's taken me a while to get used to these uniforms of the Huskies, all black. And Hunter Lopez walks. Bases first and second. And top of the lineup, Junior Ortiz comes to the plate. Ortiz struck out looking his first time at bat. Highland with two runs on a hit. Two RBIs by Eli Phillips here in the top of the second inning. That pitch looked good. Umpire called it a ball. I was about ready to say strike one. I can't get too ahead of myself. The 1-0. That pitch outside. Two balls and a strike. Keaton Jillick having a hard time finding the strike zone today. Normally... He's one that uh, will throw two strikes for every three pitches thrown, and he's thrown more balls today than uh, strikes. And perhaps that's, well, that's exactly why Highland has their two runs. The, those two runners that scored walked. The 2-0 pitch from Jillick, and that pitch a strike looking 
Two balls, one strike to Junior or Keys. The 2 1, and that pitch fouled at the plate. Evens a count at two. Or Keys wears number three on his back. He comes to the plate hitting 112. Uh, I'm sorry, 125. 125 coming into the game. Highland has two guys that are hitting over 400. One hits about two. Oh, now we've got a pick, and the runner is out at. No, umpire calls him safe as he avoided the tag. Jillick stepped off and uh, threw the ball to Percy Odell, covering the bag. And they had, they had uh, Phillips picked off, but Phillips made a fancy dance move and got back to the bag safely. The 2-2 pitch from Jillick, and that pitch hit towards Mesh at third, Mesh over to first to Ortiz. And out, 5-3 to three on the putout. Highland scores two runs on one hit. There were two runners left on base. No brush beat digger errors. After one and a half innings of play, Highland two, brush zero. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brush Beat Digger Baseball, Sunset Field. When the day started, the wind was blowing. Clouds were made the sky gray, and there was rain flying, but uh, didn't amount to much. And the wind has continued to blow, but uh, at least this afternoon, the alto cumulus clouds have moved in over Sunset Field. Blue sky pokes through, and whenever the sun shines through, it, it the sun makes it feel warm at 68 degrees at game time as Stetson Hendren finishes up his warm-up pitches. Cleanup hitter for the beat digger, Sawyer Albert designated hitter for today comes to the plate Highland scored two runs after a 3-2 pitch walk and then a four pitch walk and then a little flare hit out to right field was able to score the two runners and uh, that's how Highland got their lead See if Brush can get to Hendren here in the bottom of the second inning. What Brush wants to do is to be able to drive up the pitch count on Hendren because he's pretty much their workhorse. He came into the game with 26 and a third innings pitched. And he just hits Albert on the left side. Albert will go to first base on the hit by pitch. Hendren with a 4.42 ERA. Keaton Jillick comes to the plate. Albert lead off it. Ball hit out to the pitcher. Pitcher to the shortstop. One, six, three, four, the double play. Simple as that. One six three on the putouts. Tanner Ledgate comes to the plate with two outs. If Brush wants to extend Hendren, <laughs> they're not doing it. That pitch up and in to uh, Tanner Ledgate. Hendren working quickly the pitch, and that ball fouled off to the right side. Ledgate hitting 367 on the season. 11 hits, 11 runs. And if Tanner gets on base, a threat to run, he has five stolen bases, the pitch. And that pitch hit Ledgate. So Ledgate will take first on the hit by pitch. And Edgar Ortiz will come to the plate. Hendren, number seven on his back for the Highland Huskies wearing all black with white numerals and lettering across the front of their shirt. Look sharp. Ortiz, 211 on the season pitch and that pitch is outside. Ludgate steals second. Pitch was upstairs, a ball.
So Lydgate at second with his sixth stolen base on the season. Ortiz, see if he gets a good pitch in order to be able to drive him in. The 1-0 to Edgar Ortiz. And that pitch, low and outside. Two balls, no strikes to Ortiz, the first baseman for the B-Diggers. B-Diggers wearing their maroon uniforms with the gold pinstripes and lettering and numbering. The pitch from Hendren. And that ball hit out towards third, between short and third, base hit, infield hit. Shortstop got the ball just as it was reaching the outfield grass. And on, on the, the hit, since it was hit slowly, Ludgate takes third, Ortiz over to first for the infield single. So runners at first and third. Wiley Eicher comes to the plate. Wiley Eicher hitting 208 on the season. Ortiz, I would think, would not be a threat to run, but he takes off, and that ball thrown down. <laughs> How about that? Shortstop was going to cut it off. It short hopped the, the shortstop, and uh, Ledgate was holding home, holding home. The ball goes to the outfield on the throwing air by the catcher. And Ludgate gives Brush their first run. So Highland 2 and Brush 1. Ortiz on at second. 1-1 one, one count to Wiley Eicher. And that ball hit down the right field line. But the way the wind's blowing, that's going to blow that foul. And out of play. So one, balls, one ball and two strikes to Wiley Eicher. Highland two runs on one hit, Brush one run on two hits, bottom of the second inning. Ortiz leads off at second, two outs, the pitch from Hendren to Eicher. That pitch was up and in. Evens a count at two. Hunter Proctor in the on-deck circle for the Beat Diggers. And that ball fouled up and over the screen by Wiley Eicher. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, runner at second. Two to one, Highland Huskies over the Brush Bee Diggers. Brush threatening the pitch, and that ball fouled back to the screen. Wiley's right on Hendren, no, nothing he's thrown has deterred him from being able to swing and make contact. Now he just makes, needs to make solid contact, put the ball in play. Ortiz will be off with the hit and should score. Ball hit out to the outfield pitch. That ball in the dirt and uh, popped off the catcher's gear and over into the batter's box where Iker was. Iker steps away and Ortiz takes third. So the pitch was a ball, and Ortiz takes third on the pass ball. And that ball fouled towards the third base dugout by Eicher. Eight pitches into this at bat by Wiley Eicher. This is what we need to do, brush bead diggers need to do against this pitcher, Hendren. Two balls, two strikes, the pitch. And that ball hit down the left field line the way the wind's blowing and and let yep that's going to fall foul the left fielder was coming over and uh he was slow the shortstop is a little bit quicker and got there and made a dive but the ball landed safely in foul territory so the 10th pitch of the at bat will be coming to the plate to wiley eicher three balls two strikes ortiz on at third Highland with a 2-1 to one lead, the pitch. And that ball hit out towards left field. RBI for Wiley Eicher. And Ortiz comes in and scores. Ties the game at 2, and Eicher on at first. Just the way you diagram that up. Hunter Proctor comes to the plate for the diggers as the score is even in the bottom of the second inning, 2-2. Two Proctor hitting 200 on the season. 
Iker with a good lead at first. And that pitch upstairs, the ball. Elijah Elder in left, J.R. Ortiz in center, Wyatt Meyer in right for the Huskies. The 1 0 pitch from Hendren, and that ball fouled to the screen. Sean Dutton at third, John Bingley at shortstop, Eli Phillips second, Sawyer Morgan at first, Stetson Hendren on the hill for the Huskies, and Hunter Lopez behind the plate. One ball, one strike to Hunter Proctor. Wiley Eicher at first base. Brush scored two runs on three hits here in the bottom of the second inning. Eicher leads off the pitch from Hendren and that pitch is upstairs. Eicher takes off and Eicher has second base stolen. That pitch was upstairs. Ball two and Eicher takes second on the stolen base. Another runner in scoring position. Two and one is the count. See if Hunter Proctor, the nine hitter in the lineup for the Beat Diggers, see if he gets a good pitch to hit. And that pitch he swung at and missed. Evens a count. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two, two out. Runner at second, Wiley Eicher. Hunter Proctor at the plate. The pitch from Hendren. And that pitch outside, ball three, full count. Brush extending Stetson Hendren here in the second inning, making his pitch count go up. He was in the single digits after the first inning. Dylan Crobb is going to come in and run for Wiley Eicher at second. Dylan Crobb, courtesy runner for the Beat Diggers. Eicher, the catcher, and that's allowed. You can allow courtesy runners for the pitcher and the catcher throughout the ball game. 3-2 count. And that pitch, strike three at the knees, strike three. Brush scores two runs on three hits. They leave a runner. There were no, uh, there was one Husky error. So two runs on three hits for the Beat Diggers. Two runs on one hit for the Highland Huskies. After two complete innings of play, Brush two, Highland two, you're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brush Beat Diggers with a four-game winning streak, seeing if they can extend that to five games against the Highland Huskies today. After two complete innings of play, it's 2-2. Two to two. And for Highland coming up in the top of the third inning, the number two hitter in the lineup, Elijah Elder, a sophomore, comes to the plate. Elder hitting on the season, 130. Elder, a potential strikeout victim. He has 13 strikeouts on the season in the 11 games that uh, Highland has played. The pitch from Jillick, a strike at the knees, outside corner. Keaton Jillick gets a sign from Wiley Eicher, the pitch, and that ball swung at and missed. 0-2 is the count. See if Keaton Jillick can get on the other side of the balls and strikes here. And that pitch, strike three, outside corner. Looking by the hitter. That's what we like to see from Keaton Jillick. Just a smooth delivery from the sophomore. Number 12 on Jillick's back. Stetson Hendren comes to the plate. He flew out to center field his first time at the plate. That pitch... Inside, a ball. Stetson Hendren is hitting 519 on the season. Has 14 hits, a home run, 8 RBIs. Also the pitcher today for the Huskies. And that ball hit out to Hopper to Ledgate. Ledgate over to Ortiz at first. 6-3 to three on the put out. Simple as pie. That was nice to see by the beat diggers. Sean Dutton comes to the plate. He grounded out his first at bat. Two outs in the inning. Jillick the sign, the pitch, and that ball fouled <laughs> over to the circle, the on-deck circle for the Highland Huskies, and Sawyer Morgan had to jump out of the way. 
The 0 1 pitch. Ball on the way upstairs. Count evens at 1. I can't really say that the wind has picked up, but the wind has blown the flag pretty strong. It's standing out straight. Old Glory is today, that's for sure. The 1 1. And that pitch, a strike at the knees, outside corner. One ball, two strikes to Sean Dutton. Two outs in the inning, the one-two, and that ball hit out towards Percy Odell. Oh, Edgar Ortiz takes two steps to his right and catches the ball and stumbles, but holds on for the out. Highland Huskies, no runs on no hits, and there were no brush beat digger airs, nobody left on base after two and a half innings of play. Highland 2, Brush 2, you're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brush Beat Digger Baseball, we go to the bottom of the third inning with the score tied up between the Brush Beat Diggers and the Highland Huskies at two apiece. Stutzen Hendren just finishing his warm-up pitches for the Highland Huskies. And the Beat Diggers will have Lennon Mesh leading off here in the Bottom of the third inning. The throw down by the catcher Lopez to the shortstop Bingley. And they get the ball back to the pitcher, and here comes Landon Mesh to the plate. Landon Mesh with a sharp single between third base and shortstop is first at bat. Mesh hits from the left side, Hendren the pitch from the right side, and that ball is outside. One ball on a strike to Landon Mesh. Mesh came into the game. That pitch outside. Two balls, no strikes to Landon Mesh. Mesh was hitting 459 and added to that with his first at bat. Leads the team in hits, 17 hits on the season. Pitch. And that ball hit out towards the third baseman, and he had to turn his glove about two different ways, and finally he snags it for the out. Mesh lines out towards third base for the first out. Ben Metlin comes to the plate. Metlin grounded into double play, his first at bat. Ball hit towards the shortstop who stepped on the bag and over to first base for the out. That pitch, a strike inside corner at the knees. Count evens at one. The offering from Hendren and that ball hit towards right field. And that ball is going to go get past the right fielder, Wyatt Meyer. And uh, Metlin rounds first, rounding Second and on his way to third, and he should be there standing up. So we'll go a single, and uh, just the ball just gets past the right fielder. I can't really give Wiley a, a triple on that, but he he got the third base. So he leads off at third, and Percy Odell comes to the plate. 0 for 1 on the day. See if Brush can take the lead here on the bottom of the third inning. One ball, no strikes to Percy, the pitch. And that ball took a little bit off, and Percy was out on his front foot. Swings through that pitch. One ball, one strike to Odell. Iker Bentland leads off at third. And that pitch outside by Hendren. Lopez gets the ball back to Hendren, and the ball skips off his glove between him and the first baseman, Sawyer Morgan, but uh, Metlin wasn't going anywhere. Two balls and a strike. One out. See if Percy gets a base hit, and that ball hit out towards left field, and that ball's going to go foul, completely out of play. Count evens at two. Two balls, two strikes on number two. Percy Odell, the second baseman for the Beat Diggers. Pitch from Hendren. And that ball hit out towards center field. 
and Metlin is going to tag. That ball is carrying, and that ball is caught, and then Metlin comes in and scores to take the lead. So a sacrifice fly by Percy Odell scores the run. Brush takes the lead in the bottom of the third inning. Saw your Albert comes to the plate, pitch, belt high, inside corner, a strike. The pitch from Hendron, same spot, a strike. Saw your down in the count, no balls and two strikes. Hindering the sign from Lopez, the pitch, and that ball hit out by Sawyer Albert. He just put his bat out, reached out with his long arms, and uh, hit a line drive out to left field for a base hit. Didn't hit it hard, but he hit it where they weren't, and that's a hit for the diggers with two outs. Albert leads off at first. Keaton Jillick comes to the plate. Jillick chokes up about an inch on the bat. Hendren pick off over to first base to Sawyer Morgan, but Sawyer Albert back in safely. Albert with a three and a half step lead. Pitch, nope, another pick off over to first. And Albert back in safely from the pick off from Hendren. Brush B Diggers take a lead in the bottom of the third inning, the pitch, and that pitch is outside a ball. Brush B Diggers with a 3-2 to two lead in the bottom of the third inning. Albert leads off at first, the pitch from Hendron, and that pitch upstairs, a ball. Two balls, no strikes to Keaton Jillick. Keaton Jillick hitting 407 on the season, 11 hits. Albert, three and a half step lead at first and Andron over to first one more time. Safely, umpire Norm Johnson declares. Perry Lewis, the umpire behind the plate, longtime umpire crew from Greeley, Greeley, Fort Collins area, the pitch. And that ball hit by Keaton Jillick, a seeing eye. Single, it gets past the third baseman, and Albert at second, Jillick at first with the single. Brings to the plate Tanner Ludgate. And we'll have a courtesy runner at first. River Hodgson comes to be the courtesy runner for the pitcher Jillick. So Hodgson will be at first. Sawyer Albert will be at second. Keith Juarez, the coach, the head coach for the Highland Huskies, comes out to talk to his infield crew. Everybody meets on the mound. And Brush has scored a run on, let's see, three hits this inning. Keith Juarez just talking to his third baseman. Is that is that ball by Jillick just... Seeing eye, it just inched right past uh, the third baseman's glove, Sean Dutton, and into left field for the base hit. Juarez done talking. Everybody goes back to their positions. Dutton to third, Big, Bingley to short, Phillips to second, Sawyer Morgan to first, Stetson Hendren on the hill, and Hunter Lopez behind the plate. Tanner Ludgate was hit by the pitcher, his last at bat. Two outs in the inning, runners at first and second for the beat diggers. The pitch, and that pitch drops in for a strike inside corner. Hendren took a little bit off that delivery. Pitch from Hendren to Ludgate, and that ball hit towards between... <laughs> that ball was hit between... Third base and shortstop. Third baseman picks up the ball and then just sits on it. So we'll call that an infield single. 
because I'm not sure if he would have been able to get the get the ball out of his glove and over to first base or second base for that matter for the out. So Albert moves up to second. Jalik um, Hudson moves up to second, and uh, Ludgate on at first on the fielder's choice. Although I think I I declared that a hit, so that wasn't really a fielder's choice. The pitch to Ortiz, a ball, one ball, no strikes. Bases loaded for the B-Digger. See if they can really open things up here in the bottom of the third. That pitch, a strike to Ortiz. Hendren takes a little bit off that pitch, and uh, it just drops in for a strike. Can't really say it's a curveball, but yet it's an off-speed pitch. One ball, one strike, and that ball fouled up and over the screen down the right field line. Ortiz falls behind in the count, one ball and two strikes. Runners were off on that, but the ball just inched foul. Kept inching foul with the wind aid. That's for sure, the wind is definitely a factor today. The one two pitch to Ortiz, the pitch, and that ball inside, strike three. Brush B Diggers take the lead in the bottom of the second inning. Brush B Diggers score one run on four hits, and they leave three runners on base. There were no errors by the Highland Huskies. Brush B Diggers three, Highland Huskies two. You're listening to B Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brush B Diggers with a one run lead. In the fourth inning, we go brush three, Highland two. Saw your Morgan comes to the plate. He walked his first time and then scored. He walked on a full count. And that ball hit two hopper towards Mesh. Backhands it over to first, Ortiz, and five to three on the put out. Nice play by Landon Mesh to stay with that and uh, took, took one extra step after he fielded the ball and then took a good strong throw over to first for the out. Five to three on the put out. Nice play by Landon. Good job. One out in the inning. John Bingley comes to the plate. Bingley walked and scored his first time. He walked on four pitches. And that pitch, a strike at the knees on the inside corner. I think Bingley is a strikeout. No, guy that we just need to keep our eye on. 167 coming into the game. That pitch, a ball. Evens count, one ball, one strike. Bingley wears number one on his back. He's a shortstop for Highland. That ball hit out towards Ludgate. Two hops. Shortstop over to first. One hop and six to three on the put out. Nice fielding by the first baseman, Edgar Ortiz. That ball was about six feet in the dirt in front of him. He was able to snag that out of the dirt and for the out. Eli Phillips with the two-run RBI single in the second inning. The pitch to him is a strike outside corner at the knees. Jillick gets a sign from Wiley Eicher, the offering, and that ball swung at and missed. No balls and two strikes to Eli Phillips. Jillick starting to get his groove on as we get a little bit further into this game. That pitch, strike three. Looking, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. After three and a half innings, we're halfway through this ball game. Brush B Diggers three, Highland Huskies two. You're listening to B Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Beautiful baseball weather at Sunset Field if you're flying a kite. <laughs> Brush Colorado beat Diggers with a 3-2 to two lead over the Highland Huskies. Brush coming to the plate after scoring two runs in the second inning and a run in the third inning. Almost broke this game open in that third inning, but uh, they had the bases loaded, but uh, ended up with a strikeout with a, the loaded bases, and they weren't able to get any more runs across. 
So for the bead diggers here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Wiley Eicher comes to the plate. He led off with a single. In his last at bat, and eventually come around and scored for the beat diggers. Iker number one on his back. Pitch from Stetson Hendren to Iker inside a ball. Hendren, that was pitch number 51 through three innings. And uh, Rush can extend him a little bit more and get into their bullpen. And Iker takes one for the team, hit by pitch right in the middle of his back. And he will take first base. And we'll see if Coach Odell is going to use a courtesy runner at this point. Not yet. Hunter Proctor comes to the plate. Proctor did strike out his last at bat. He got time by the umpire and puts it back in play to the pitcher. Proctor comes to the plate. Iker leads off at first, the pitch, and nice bunt by Hunter Proctor. Hendren fields it, and Proctor is out at first and at third as Wiley Iker rounded second on the bunt and the throw by Hendren to first, and he kept coming, and the tag was applied, but... Uh, Iker slides safely into third. Dylan Crobb comes in to be the courtesy runner at this point. So let's, and that brings Landon Mesh to the plate. So let's do this, and we'll go one to three on the ground out. And Iker ends up at third, and that ball is wild pitch, and Crobb it comes to the plate and he is out at the plate. For the second out in the inning. Penny, was that pitch a strike or a ball? Empire will give it to us here. The first one was a was a ball. I just want to make sure that I put the pass ball in there correctly. And that pitch swinging by Mesh, a strike. One ball, one strike. And Mesh hits that ball out to center field. And the center fielder comes in, squeezes that ball, J.R. Ortiz, for the third out. So the Brush B Diggers, no runs on no hits. And there were no errors. And uh, nobody left on base. After four complete innings of play, brush three, Highland two, you're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Welcome back to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. After four complete innings of play, brush Beat Diggers with a three to two lead over the Highland Huskies. Number four, comes in to hit for number five. So Tracy Van Gilder comes in to hit for Wyatt Myers. And Van Gilder hits from the left side. That pitch a ball, one ball, no strikes to Van Gilder. The pitch swung on and missed by Van Gilder. Van Gilder, a freshman, hitting 167 on the season. The 1-1 one -one pitch, low and outside to Van Gilder. Two balls and a strike to the freshman, and that ball swung at and missed. Fouled off, foul tip, evens account at two. Two to two, the pitch from Jillick. Strike three, outside corner. Bat was still on the shoulder of Van Gilder. One out in the inning. 
Hunter Lopez comes to the plate, the ninth hitter in the lineup. He walked his last at bat. Jillick up to 61 pitches for the game. The pitch upstairs, a ball. Keaton Jillick gets a sign from Iker. Pitch inside. Two balls and a, two balls and no strikes to Hunter Lopez. And that ball fouled up and over the screen. Jolly comes into the game and uh, with a 4.71 ERA. He's pitched a little over 16 innings, and obviously now we're into the uh, fourth. Uh, we're into the fifth inning, so he's up over 20 innings for the season. Strike by Jillick, letter high, strike, two balls, two strikes to the junior, Hunter Lopez. Lopez choked up on the bat about three inches, and that ball fouled into the screen. Keaton Jillick doing more Keaton Jillick type things. He's throwing strikes, getting ahead in the count. Hunter Lopez holds that bat just a little bit odd with his thumb. That pitch upstairs a ball. I'm just wondering, you know, just as he has his thumb, his top hand, and he has his thumb pointing up on the bat, it's going to make it a little bit harder for him to be able to get that bat around, and he walks on the full count. Doesn't matter on that. It's just an observation that I saw. It's like, hmm. So Lopez, the catcher, on at second. I'm sorry, on at first. J.R. Orkees, the center fielder, comes to the plate. Orkees 0 for 2 on the day. And pretty close play at first on the pickoff. He had about a three-step lead. Keith Juarez... You can see his frustration at third base. Three-step lead, Jillick, the sign, and the batter attempted the bunt, and that ball came off the umpire, and safe at second. The part, that ball came off uh, Perry Lewis' shoulder. I'm pretty sure it caught him on the shoulder. I, I know as, as the batter came around in order to attempt the bunt that uh, it should be a called strike, but I'm not sure if they're going to call it a strike. So we'll just put a ball up on the screen because the pitch was inside. So we'll go one ball, no strikes to the batter or keys. Lopez on at second, the pitch. Strike at the knees, right down the middle of the plate. Evens a count, one ball, one strike. They corrected that, so it is no balls and two strikes to the batter. The umpires just communicating between the two of them. Lopez leads off, and they've almost had the out at second base. Ludgate came up right behind uh, the runner, Lopez, and then broke to the bag, and there was space. Jillick off the back of the rubber and to Ludgate, and uh, Lopez just gets a hand back on the bag. No balls, two strikes to the batter, or keys. And he's choked up on the bat. And that pitch, strike three. Bat was still on his shoulder. So a strikeout looking. Two outs in the inning. Highland Alt, two runs on one hit. They've left two runners on base. Pitch from Jillick to Elijah Elder, and that ball, a strike, inside corner, check swing anyway, but inside corner of the plate. He was definitely jammed. 
Jillick throwing a one-hitter through four innings. The two runs that scored in the second inning for Highland were courtesy of two walks in a row and then a little flare for a base hit. And that ball, a pass ball by Eicher, and Lopez moves up to third base. One ball, one strike. The ball hit out to left field. And Ben Metlin faded to his left and back about eight steps and hauled that ball in for the third out. Highland, no runs, no hits, no beat digger errors. One runner left on base. After four and a half innings of play, Brush Beat Diggers three, Highland Huskies two. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We go to the bottom half of the fifth inning, Brush B Diggers with a three to two lead over the Highland Huskies. Line score at this point, Brush three runs on seven hits, no errors, they left four runners on base. Highland Huskies, two runs on one hit, they've had one error and they left three runners on base. Stetson Hendren on the hill for the Huskies. B Diggers I'm sure would have liked to have seen They would have liked to have seen uh, Hendren absorb more pitches by this point in the game, but uh, nonetheless, Brush has a 3-2 to two lead. Ben Metlin comes to the plate. The umpire at the plate, Percy, or Perry, Perry Lewis, he indicated to me in that pitch, strike inside corner of the plate, that that, that ball that uh, hit him came off his left wrist. Anytime you get hit with a, a ball pitched without any obstacle, it hurts. That pitch inside to Ben Metlin. Count evens at one. Metlin one for two on the day. That pitch outside. Two balls and a strike to the left fielder Metlin who hauled in that last out in the top of the fifth inning. 2-1 pitch, and that ball hit towards Coach Odell over at the third base coach's box, about four steps, and picks it up, barehanded, and underhands it back to Stetson Hendren, the pitcher. Count evens, two balls, two strikes. The offering, and that ball hit out towards center field and gets past the shortstop, John Bingley, to center field for a base hit. Ben Metlin two for three on the day on a medium line drive. So Metlin on at first. Percy Odell comes to the plate. Odell 0 for 1 officially. Grounded out and he had the sacrifice fly in the inning that Brush was able to take the lead three to two. On the pitch that was outside for a ball, Ben Metlin steals second. And that pitch, a strike to Percy Odell. One ball, one strike. Nobody out for the beat diggers. A hit here in the fifth inning. The pitch inside a ball. Two balls and a strike to Percy Odell coming into the game, hitting 300. Hendren the sign, the pitch, and that ball towards third base, foul. Sean Dutton reached up and it glanced off his glove and then went all the way over to the fence. He chases it down, gets it back to Hendren. Hendren back on the bump, middle of the diamond. 2-2 pitch to Percy Odell, the offering, and that ball, Odell avoids being hit by pitch. Full count to Percy. Runner at second, Metlin, the 3-2 pitch, and that ball fouled to the screen.
Full count to Percy. See if Brush can add to this as they've got their number three hitter at the plate, number four coming. And that pitch upstairs and pass ball. Odell on at first and Metlin moves up to third base on the pass ball. We have runners at first and third. Number four hitter, Sawyer Albert, the designated hitter today, comes to the plate. He's one for one officially. He also was hit by a pitch in the second inning. Odell gets a good lead at first. I'm sure he'll be thinking about going. And the Hendren thinking the same thing, throws over to his first baseman, Sawyer Morgan. Odell gets back in safely. Albert wears number 50 on his back, steps out. Morgan, the first baseman, comes over and talks to his pitcher, Stetson Hendren. Shortstop comes over as well. They just want to make sure they have their, their signs correct for when Odell, if he does take second base, as to what are they doing with the ball? Who's cutting it off? Or are they letting it go through to try to get the out at second or what? The pitch from Hendren, that ball hit down the third baseline, and Metlin comes in and scores the fourth run, and Odell rounds second and goes to third as the left fielder gets the ball in slow to the shortstop Bingley. Albert with the RBI single. Down on the third baseline, Albert two for two on the day. Keaton Jillick comes to the plate, brush with a four to two lead, and that ball hit out towards the third baseman, and that'll be a challenge, and everybody's safe. I can't really say that that is an infield single, but it's not really an error. It's more of a fielder's choice because the... <laughs> Third baseman decided he didn't want to throw it anywhere. So anyway, we'll go as a fielder's choice. Soft ground ball to the third baseman. Everybody safe. And that ball hit out to center field by Tanner Ludgate and Odell comes in and scores. Albert up to third. River Hodson who came in to run for Keaton Jillick. He's safe at second and Ludgate on at first. Edgar Ortiz comes to the plate and uh, Hendren took a little bit, a lot of little bit off that pitch and uh, Ortiz out on his front foot, swings through that pitch for a strike. Base is loaded. Brush with a 5-2 lead. And that pitch in the dirt to Ortiz. One ball, one strike. Base is loaded. Two runs are in here in the fifth inning for the Beat Diggers. And that ball fouled towards Highlands dugout. One ball, two strikes to Ortiz. Brush threatening to open this game up. The pitch, and that ball hit out towards the gap in left field. And the left fielder goes back and makes the catch. We got a sacrifice fly situation. Albert tags at third and up. And he scores. Hodgson tags at second and goes to third. And then on the throw that gets away from the second baseman, he comes in and scores. Tanner Ludgate over to third base. So Brush with two more runs to take a 7-2 to lead.
So Lydgate on at third, Brush with a 7-2 to lead. Riley Eicher catch up here. One ball and two strikes on Wiley Eicher. One out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that ball swung at and missed by Eicher. Strike three. So two outs in the inning. Ludgate at third. Hunter Proctor to the plate. And that pitch upstairs to Proctor. Brush with four runs on two hits here in the fifth inning. And that pitch inside to Proctor. Two balls, no strikes. It's number 15 center fielder, Hunter Proctor. Senior for these Brush B diggers. Seven to two. Brush with the lead. Pitch outside. Three balls, no strikes. Seems like the wind has let up a little bit. Not much, but nonetheless, ball four. And Proctor takes first, and Ludgate stays at third base. Landon Mesh comes to the plate. One for three on the day. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Brush with four runs. The offering to the left-handed hitting mesh outside, a ball that Proctor takes off and has second base on the pitch. So runners second and third. Mesh with a 1-0 count, the pitch, and that ball hit out towards the right field gap and nobody's gonna be there and that ball's gonna drop and two runs will come in to score. Ludgate from third, Proctor from second, Mesh with his second hit on the day, two for four. He just hit it where they weren't. That's exactly what you need to do. So Brush with a nine to two lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Mesh at first, Metlin comes to the plate, two for three on the day. Grounded out and has two singles. Mesh with a good three and a half step lead. Pitch a ball. Stetson Hendren is over the 85 pitch mark here in the fifth inning. Brush has finally gotten to him and mesh back to first base on the attempted pickoff. The next game for the B-Diggers is Sterling on Friday the 19th and Monday they play Wellington. Two zero to Metlin. Pitch and that ball fouled to the screen. Highland, four and seven record coming into the game, 0 and five in the league. And their next game is on Thursday against Yuma at Yuma. That'll be a long trip for them. That pitch, a strike to Metlin. Evens account at two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, and that ball hit out to left field. Ball hit hard, but the left fielder, Elijah Elder, settles under it for the out. Brush scores six runs on three hits. There was an error by Highland Alt, and Brush leaves one runner on base. After five complete innings of play, Brush Beat Diggers 9, Highland 2. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brush Beat Diggers open up a seven-run lead. 
over the Highland Huskies with a six-run fifth inning. Brush nine to two over the Huskies. Stetson Hendren comes to the plate, 0 for 2 on the day. Hendren came into the game, and I mentioned he was hitting 519. So good hitter for the Huskies. The pitch from Jillick inside a ball. Jillick, that was his pitch number 76 here in the top of the sixth inning. Pitch a ball outside. Two balls and no strikes to the number three hitter, Stetson Hendren. Highland Huskies, new look. No green on their uniforms whatsoever. That pitch, a ball to Hendren. Three balls, no strikes. All black. Hmm. It's just really interesting. The pitch from Jillick. Four pitches, ball four. And Hendren goes to first. Sean Dutton comes to the plate. Dutton, a sophomore. Over two on the day. Number 15 on his back. Third baseman for the Huskies. And Jillick over to first. And safe at first is Stetson Hendren. Brush looking to add to their four game winning streak. Extend it to five. Pitch swung on and missed. Throw down by Iker to Ludgate. Hendren with a stolen base. No balls and a strike to Dutton. Pitch from Jillick. A strike, check swing, but a strike nonetheless. It was a strike regardless, but he stuck his bat out into the zone. No balls, two strikes to Dutton. Pitch from Jillick. And that ball swung at and missed, and Mr. Dutton will take a seat back in the dugout. Strike three. One out in the inning. Brush nine. Highland two. Brush finally opened up in the fifth inning, scoring six. Sawyer Morgan comes to the plate. Big tall drink of water. Plays first base for the Huskies. Pitch from Jillick. Strike. Jillick curveball. Caught the outside corner of the plate. Jillick the sign from Iker. Pitch and that ball, excuse me, swing to Ortiz at first. Two hops. He steps on the bag. Hendren moves up to third, but the out at first is number two. So runner Hendren over to third. John Bingley, the shortstop, comes to the plate. The offering, that pitch upstairs, a ball. Highland All scored their two runs via, they walked, Jillick walked two batters and then there was an excuse me single and that ball hit out towards Ludgate. Three hops over to first base and Ortiz gets it and six to three on the put out. No runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left on base for the Highland Huskies after five and a half innings of play. Brush Beat Diggers nine, Highland Huskies two. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brush Beat Diggers with a nine to two lead as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. We'll have a pitching change for Highland. And number nine, Eli Phillips will come in to pitch. And Hendren will go to second base. Hendren was right at that 90 pitch mark. And uh, the beat diggers got to him at the last inning. And 
I'm sure Coach Juarez is just saying, hey, give my guys some time. You know, as I look back over the box scores, it seemed like that's pretty much what they did. You know, all through their games, they'll go, if they've got a five-inning game, they'll throw a guy three innings and another guy comes in and throws two or four and one. If they have a six-inning game, you know, they'll throw five innings and then have somebody throw one. This one, uh, Hendron threw five innings and, and we have uh, Eli Phillips coming in. He has a 1.83 ERA on 7.2 innings. He's walked eight batters and only struck out four, but he does have a 1-0, one, oh, one loss record. So Phillips comes in to pitch to Percy Odell. Beat Diggers looking to see if they can score three runs and close out this ball game here in the bottom of the sixth inning. As I talked to the coaches, uh, Beat Digger coaches before the game, the one thing they said was if they can get Hendren out of the game, then they get to the bullpen and uh, there's not as much experience. Although Eli Phillips does come in with a 1.83 ERA as a freshman, but uh, you know, as I mentioned, only seven, seven and two thirds innings pitched. So we'll see what Mr. Phillips has as Percy Odell steps in and faces him. The offering from Phillips and that pitch low and inside. Rush nine runs on 11 hits, no errors. Five runners left on base here through the five innings as we go to the bottom of the sixth. The pitch from Phillips and that ball slipped. It looked like a spinner and it slipped out of his hand and Percy ducks and catcher Lopez goes up to corral it. And two, two balls, no strikes to Odell. 2-0 offering. Takes a little bit off that ball. Low and outside. Three balls, no strikes to Percy. The 3 0. And that ball hits Percy right on the gluteus maximus. And Percy will take first base on the hit by pitch. It would have been ball four anyway. That just makes it hurt all the worse when it was ball four and you still get hit. So Percy on it. First, Sawyer Albert comes to the plate, two for two on the day, and he's been on base all three times. He was hit by a pitch by Stetson Hendren in the second inning. And then immediately disposed on a double play. But Sawyer Albert, two singles on the day and a hit by pitch. Odell leads off at first. Pitch from Phillips and Odell off on the pitch and takes second without a throw. The pitch was a strike. So defensive indifference, Odell takes second. Phillips with an 0-1 pitch to the number four hitter Sawyer Albert and that pitch outside. Evens account at one. Brush with a 9-2 to lead. We'll see if they can add to that here in the sixth inning. Three runs would be the magic number to be able to end this ball game. But uh, we'll just take a run at a time. Odal leads off at second. The 1-1 to Albert and that ball in the dirt. And Odal stole third. Two balls and a strike to Albert. Percy takes third on the stolen base. Catcher got the inside pitch and threw down to Dutton, but there was no tag applied and Odell safe at third. 2-1 pitch. And that ball hit between third and short. Albert three for three. Odell comes in and scores. Brush their 10th run. 10-2. Ten Saw your Albert on at first. Three for three on the day. Keaton Jillick steps in to face Eli Phillips, the freshman, the offering, and that pitch upstairs to Jillick. And we'll have a pinch runner for Sawyer Albert. 
And number 17. Number 17. Who's number 17? I don't have a number 17. Malachi Teal. Okay, Malachi Teal. Pinch runner at first. The pitch to Jillick. A ball. Two balls, no strikes to Jillick. And that pitch comes off the glove of Lopez. And Malachi Teal takes second base on the pass ball. Three balls, no strikes to the sophomore Keaton Jillick with a 10 to 2 lead. And that pitch, a strike right down the middle. Took a little bit off. Three balls and a strike to Keaton Jillick. One for three on the day. The pitch from Phillips, and that ball hit out towards right field. And Morgan goes back at first base and grabs it, still on the dirt, for. The second out, uh, the first out in the inning, excuse me, pop up, first baseman, pop up, do that, and Teal on at second, and Tanner Ludgate comes to the plate two for two on the day, just like Sawyer Albert hit by pitch and then two singles, so Ludgate on all three times. Teal leads off at second, the pitch to Ludgate, and that fouled towards the third base dugout. One ball, one strike to Tanner Ludgate, runner at second. Malachi Teal, the pitch from Phillips, and that ball popped a mile high. And the first baseman, Sawyer Morgan, comes in and grabs it on the grass in the infield for the out. Second out in the inning. Morgan has grabbed both of those. Teal on at second. Edgar Ortiz comes to the plate. Brush with a 10 to 2 lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The pitch and that ball hit by Ortiz down the left field line foul down towards the bullpen for the beat diggers. Phillips the sign from Lopez, the pitch, and that ball swung at and missed. He took a lot off that pitch. And Ortiz swings through the pitch out on his front foot. Grass is starting to green up. A good half inch or an inch of rain would do wonders for this field, the pitch. And that ball, strike three, Ortiz strikes out. Doggone it. Anyway, brush one run on one hit and one runner left on base. Nobody, no errors of Highland. After six complete innings of play, brush 10, Highland 2. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Kevin Fergus with you today, bringing you Brush Bee Digger Baseball, 1901 Edmond Street, Brush, Colorado, Sunset Field, High School Baseball on 1010 KSIR, Keaton Jillick three outs away from securing the victory, the fifth victory in a row for the Bee Diggers. Eli Phillips comes to the plate. Phillips one for two on the day. He had the two-run single. In the second inning, the only hit that Jillick has given up to these Highland Huskies. Jillick, the offering, and that pitch, a strike, evens a count, one ball, one strike. Keaton Jillick sitting on 89 pitches, and that ball, two hopper out to Ludgate, six to three on the put out. Nope. Ball was in the dirt, and so that's going to give Brush an error on the day. We'll give an error on the throw to Ludgate. I was getting ahead of myself. I just was thinking, well, Ludgate's going to get that ball over there, and we're going to we're going to be good. 
for the first out in the inning. So Phillips on it first via the air. Van Gilder comes to the plate, hitting from the left side. He struck out his last at bat. Short lead by Phillips. Swung at and missed by Van Gilder. Strike one. About the time I think that the wind is starting to die down, then it picks up again. Two and a half step lead at first. Pitch swung at by Gilder. Gilder's head was looking down the first baseline as he was swinging through that pitch. His head was nowhere near being able to see that that pitch was a ball. But nonetheless, no balls, two strikes. See if Jillick just takes care of Van Gilder here. Swung on and missed, strike three. First out in the inning. Eli Phillips on at first. Hunter Lopez comes to the plate. Lopez officially 0 for 0. He's walked both times. And that ball swung at and missed by Lopez. See if Lopez is a strikeout possibility. He absolutely is. He has 17 strikeouts coming into this game. In the 11 games that Highland had played, this is game number 12. Might as well add to that Hunter Lopez. Jillick gets a sign after the wind kicked up dirt in the face of the batter and the catcher. Jillick over to Ortiz. Phillips in at first safely. The 0-1 offering swung at and missed by Hunter Lopez. Highland, their next game is Thursday. They play at Yuma, and Friday they play Platte Valley. Highland 0 for 5 in, in league, and they've played all the big boys at this point. Brush and inside pitch to Hunter Lopez, but catches the corner of the plate, catches the black for strike three. Two outs, one out away from Brush with their fifth victory in a row, being able to move their record to seven and four. And four and two in league. Phillips leads off at first and Jillick over to Ortiz. Phillips in safely. Keaton Jillick with a one hitter at this point. J.R. Orkees comes in, fouls that pitch back into the screen. Orkees. 11 strikeouts coming into the game, and he struck out twice. So he's up to 13 strikeouts at this point. And this being Highland's 12th game of the season. Orkees chokes up about two or three inches on the plate. Pitch, Jillick takes a little bit off, and that pitch, a strike. Letter high across the middle of the plate. One strike away from Brush securing their seventh victory, fifth in a row. Keaton Jillick, the offering, and that ball's in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Runner on it first. Eli Phillips. Keaton Jillick, the pitch, and that ball's fouled to the screen. Keaton Jillick through the first 44 pitches of the game through 22 strikes and 22 balls. And before that, he, he had more balls than strikes, but he finally caught up. And this next pitch is going to be pitch number 100, and he has 60 strikes. And that ball swung at and missed, and that's the ball game. Keaton Jillick with a strikeout to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left on base for Highland. In the top of the seventh inning, Brush Bee Diggers secure the victory 10-2. to two. We'll take a short break, and then we'll be back and do a post-game show. Brush Bee Diggers 10, 
Highland 2. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Brush Post Game Show is brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plan of seed, food, and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for this year as well as next year's growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy at 970-571-2024. Brush Bee Diggers with a victory today on their home field, fifth in a row. Brush Bee Diggers move to seven and four on the season. Highland Huskies with the loss, they move to four and eight. And the Huskies are 0 and six within the league and the Beat Diggers are four and two. Keaton Jillick with the victory, complete game, seven innings, 100 pitches and 101 pitches and uh, threw 61 strikes. Keaton Jillick threw a one hitter uh, against the Highland Huskies today. So he's your hero for the ball game. Uh, Highlands had five walks offered by Keaton Jillick and two of those happened to come around and score. And uh, that was in the second inning that they were able to score. They had the, those two runners got on base and an advance uh, by a stolen base. And then Eli Phillips hit a flare out to right field that got past uh, Caleb Jimenez in right field. And uh, those two runners were able to come around and score to take the two to nothing lead on that one hit. And that's all Highland had on the day. Um, 10 strikeouts by Keaton Jillick, excellent ball game. He started off struggling to find the strike zone, but he was able to get in the zone from the third inning on and uh, was able to do uh, uh, yeoman's work of being able to pick up the brush bee diggers and give them the 10 to two lead or the 10 to two game. Brush was able to score two runs in the bottom of the second inning to tie the score and on a sacrifice fly by Percy Odell, they got their third run in the third inning to take the three to two lead and then they scored another six runs in the fifth inning and another one in the sixth inning, five and six in the fifth inning, one in the sixth inning. So Brush on the day, they scored 10 runs on 12 hits. They have one error and they leave six runners on base. Highland, their line scored two runs on one hit. They had two errors and they left five runners on base. So Brush Bee Diggers, their next ball game is at Sterling on Friday. And then on Monday, they will play Wellington here at home at Sunset Field. And I think that game was originally scheduled for up at Wellington, and that might have been scheduled for Tuesday, but it's going to be a Monday ball game. Anyway, that's what Brush has coming. So five-game winning streak for the Beat Diggers. Good for them. They've been able to get off the schneid and be able to perform on the field. They've done a nice job. As things have warmed up, and, and they've been able to put bat on ball and be able to come up with crucial hits at those opportune times in order to be able to bring the runners around to score. So Brush Bee Diggers with a 10-2 victory over the Highland Huskies. The sound engineer and producer of Brush Bee Digger Baseball is Rose Condis. I'm Kevin Fergus. The final score, Brush 10, Highland 2. You've been listening to Brush Bee Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.